Hi, I'm Jeff Kornberg, and on this episode of The Dragon's Tomb, I'm going to be teaching you how to play The Castles of Burgundy. In The Castles of Burgundy, the King of Switzerland is sick of how dull his castle looks and has decided to update it with big, bright colors for some reason. Players take on the role of interior designers who have been tasked with retiling the castle bathrooms. To set up, place the board in the center of the table. These are the tiles the king has chosen for you to redo his bathrooms with, and each one showcases traditional, terrible Switzerland imagery. Randomly place bathroom tiles of the corresponding colors on each space of the board. Then, fill in the center section with face-down black tiles. These are urinals. Place them on the urinal section of the board based on their color, with larger urinals going on top of the smaller ones. Give everyone their own bathroom floor and two dice. Then, put a token for each player at the start of the score track. Now you're ready to start playing. The object of the game is to be the player who earns the most points by designing the most ostentatious bathroom. The tallest player goes first. On your turn, roll one of your dice. Then, look at your bathroom floor to see if you have any available spaces that match that number. If you do, choose one of them and take note of its color. Then, check the main board to see if any bathroom tiles of that color are available. Pick one, making sure you remember its associated board number. Place it onto the bathroom space you previously chose, and then score it. This is done by multiplying the floor number by the board number. So in this case, it would be 6 times 5, which would score 30 points. Additionally, yellow tiles have little tiny numbers printed on the bottom that you need a magnifying glass to read. When you place one of those tiles, you also add that number in as a multiplier. On future turns, if you place a tile so it's touching other tiles, you get to multiply all of their numbers together. For example, on this turn, if you put down a tile that has a board number of 5, you'd multiply it with 5, 4, 3, and 5 for a total of 1,500 points. You'll notice the score tracker only goes up to 100. If you go over that amount, you can use it in combination with this point token and your second die to help keep track. For instance, you might do something like this to signify the number 1,625. During the game, you can also get bonus bathroom upgrades. For each color, if you're the first player to put a tile of that color on your floor, take the corresponding urinal and place it in your bathroom. At the end of the game, it'll be worth 567 points. Towards the end of the game, if you're the last person to place a tile of that color, you get the smaller urinal for 234 points. If at any time you fully complete an entire row of tiles, you get rewarded with some bathroom decorations. These are shipments from Pottery Barn. Take three of them and put them on your bathroom counter. Flip them over, revealing various mass-produced, uninspired decorations. Then, take a look at this chart here. Multiply the top decorations number by 2, the middle by 3, and the bottom by 4. Add everything together and get that many bonus points. Additionally, you get to collect a roll of royal toilet paper. These are very soft, and everyone in town wants to wipe their butt with them. If you ever collect three rolls, you may trade them in to attract a royal plumber. Take one and place them in your bathroom, immediately subtracting, then adding one point to your score. Since most of Switzerland is made up of peasants who aren't wealthy enough to own their own bathrooms, most of them have to do their business in this shared toilet pit in the center of town. On your turn, you may send one of your plumbers to scavenge through the toilet pit's viscous feculence, gaining a random bonus bathroom tile that you may play and score immediately. As soon as the last bathroom tile is removed from the board, the final rounds are triggered. Each player gets 12 more turns, and then the game immediately ends. Calculate your final scores, and if you have the most points, congratulations, you've just won the game. All in all, this game is a blast to play. And not only that, it's an important part of tabletop history for being the first game ever to use points. Designer Stefan Feld knew he wanted some kind of system that could track player progress, and since nothing existed that could do that, he invented points and implemented them here for the very first time. Now, points have become a global sensation, and you can also find them in places outside of tabletop gaming. 
such as basketball, hotel reward systems, driver's license violations, ballerina shoes, and even Weight Watchers. So, big thanks to Mr. Feld and the Castles of Burgundy for having such a profound impact on our world today.